So a virus is a, a really small collection of proteins and genetic material. There's lots and lots of viruses in the world, and one that people get, a lot of people get each year is influenza or flu that infects about 10 to 20 percent of the UK population every year. Something like flu, that will spread when people sneeze or cough and the virus spreads from person to person, or when they leave infected materials like infected mucus on surfaces. That's why it's really important to wash your hands. There's other viruses that are spread by direct contact when people hug or kiss, and then there's other viruses that are spread by sexual contact, such as HIV. Let's work backwards. An endemic infection is an infection that's present in an area all year round, all the time, from year to year. So that might be something like chickenpox in the UK, which happens every year. Or in parts of Africa, malaria is an endemic infection. So an epidemic is when you see an increase of cases followed by a peak and then a decrease. So we see an epidemic of flu every year in the UK when you start to see an increase of cases in the autumn and winter, a peak, and then the epidemic subsides. A pandemic is an epidemic that happens all around the world approximately at the same time. So in 2009, we had a pandemic of influenza that started in Mexico, and then that epidemic reached around the world and caused a pandemic of flu. People will travel around the world, and if it's possible for that uh, infection to be sustained in the places that it reaches, then we'll get a pandemic. So vaccines allow our bodies to see what a virus or a bacteria looks like before we meet it for real. If and when we do meet that, that virus or that bacteria, our bodies are able to mount a really rapid and strong res response. The world is more prepared than it's ever been before. And scientists, uh, countries, public health agencies like the WHO work closely together to make sure that we are as ready as we can be if there is a new pandemic.